Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So this time I want to take you guys out, shoot my new to me Nikon F5. Recently picked this camera up, so we took it out and shot it for the first time with my Nikkor 50mm 1.8D, as well as the Tamron 35-105 F2.8 that's filming me now. We took this out with the roll of Kodak Pro Image 100 and got some pretty cool shots around Eureka Springs, or at least I think some of them were pretty cool. But anyway, let's not waste too much time talking about it up front. We'll go and shoot this thing, and then we'll meet back here and talk about the camera lens and film a little bit.
guys, I hope you liked the shots that I got with this thing. It's been a really cool camera to use so far. I really like the way it fills in the hand. It's got a very modern DSLR type feel to it, which some people may hate it, some people may not. Um, it is a heavy chunk, but it feels pretty good. It's got a good, well-designed grip. A uh, little nub on the back that feels great to hold on to. Also a vertical grip that's functional, has a shutter button and everything. That was pretty cool and handy. I'm not used to having that. Um, autofocus on this camera seems to be on point. Uh, haven't had any issues with it, even with this D-series lens, pretty quick and accurate. Even on the Tamron, pretty quick and accurate, not too bad. Aside from that, the metering in this camera seems to live up to the reputation it has online. So far I've messed with it in spot metering mode as well as 3D matrixing mode, and that seems to do everything that everyone says it will, so I'm pretty impressed with that. But as this isn't a full on review video, I'm not gonna go too in depth on the thing. There's some features in this camera I'll probably never use. It can burst like eight frames a second or faster than that, I can't recall. But with the way film prices are and the fact that I have an A7 III filming me right now, probably not gonna be burning through rolls of film shooting continuous with this thing. However, I do intend to uh, put the continuous autofocus to the test one of these times, maybe shoot some wildlife with it, something like that. But anyway, the camera body itself has been awesome. The Kodak Pro Image 100, I've also been pretty impressed with. Really love the colors, it's fine grain. Uh, everything that came out of that roll of film, uh, I'm really liking about that film stock. Definitely going to be shooting more of it because I really love the way it looks. Can't wait to get my hands on more of it. Maybe we'll do a review video later of that as well as the camera. The other thing that impressed me is the Tamron 35 to 105 that we're recording with. It's a 2.8 lens, not variable aperture, stays 2.8 all the way through the zoom range. Kind of impressed with it. It's not the sharpest lens ever at 2.8, um, far from it. In fact, it can be a little soft and glowy even in some cases. Show you some examples if you didn't notice them in the video prior to this, but aside from that, it's actually pretty cool. Once you stop it down, it gets pretty sharp. 35 to 105 is a really cool zoom range for your full frame film camera. I'd say it's not on par to a lot of the manufacturer's current 24 to 105 f4 lenses. However, being able to use that 2.8, even though it's not super sharp, it did come in handy running the 100 speed film in the f5. So I Pretty happy that I found this little lens. I got it for a really good deal from a random guy and pretty happy that I bought it. But yeah, guys, that's kind of been my first impressions of the F5, the Pro Image 100, as well as the 35 to 105 2.8 lens. So guys, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, otherwise, come back next time. We'll have some more videos coming. I've already got another one in the works, so we'll see you next time. Peace out.